don't give your friends money don't have sex <sighs> yay because those two combined are gonna kick your ass financially no alcohol boys or entertainment welcome back to my channel welcome to another video so today's video i really wanted it to be a very simple chit chat video nothing extravagant i think march i kind of fell off the bandwagon and march really was not a, a great month but i'm really hoping that may and april because april has already started but obviously the months going forward will have a lot in store not only for me but for all of us whereby i will be reacting to the comments under a tweet that i asked okay so i'm also going to be responding to the tweets and stuff like that but also feel free to follow me on twitter currently in underscore because i'm always plugging my instagram handle the tweet that i tweeted that i will be reacting to is i asked people and i said please share solid advice for people in their 20s so that was a tweet solid advice for someone in their 20s also feel free to just drop solid advice for people in their 20s because i feel like this life thing comes with no manual so the first tweet says um invest in yourself and build a credit score while it's still early so investing in yourself 110 percent for it i am honestly for like investing towards your self-development because i feel like everything can literally run dry whether you invest money into a bank account it runs dry eventually that money depletes it's but like investing in yourself i don't think that things will ever run dry there like i don't think you'd ever experience like a deficit building your credit score quite while it's still early i think that obviously does have its pros and cons but most importantly regardless of like building a credit score regardless of age also i think it is essential for you to know your limit and not go overboard because you will end up with a credit card that you took for i don't know what the price could possibly be and you find that you're really paying this credit card off but you're not seeing the difference you're not it feels like i'm really paying this thing off monthly but i it's not going anywhere the, the amount is stagnant like basically me paying it and me not paying it doesn't make a difference so the hints i'm really saying that it's always wise to know your limit and then it says also enjoy being young time flies how do you enjoy being young without having money <laughs> like, i feel like life would be much more fun to be able to have money because then everything that you've ever aspired to do then you're able to do it at a very young age but also i don't think that life should be based on money i don't know but basically just enjoy life i think it's life honestly like regardless of everything it's just basically making life worthwhile where you're currently at in any point of time so in your current point in time like where you are in your life it's about making life worthwhile the true purpose of life it could be could be right could be wrong but that's how i feel next one says don't have sex so with this one i know a lot of people will be like ah i just really feel like everyone should do what they are comfortable doing but i get where this person's really coming from in the sense that when you're a celibate it's like clarity is clear to see yeah well this whole thing going on the timeline at some point in time if you are on twitter this uh, there's this thing that was happening at some point in time about and stuff like that um to get money and stuff like that so basically at some point in time you need to make a sacrifice and usually it would be people luring you through sex there's also a video on the timeline of some lady walking around town naked and she can she she kept crying while she was walking around town and people really thought Scotty, she's probably not well she's probably sick in the head or whatever but there was a person who actually demonstrated like what actually happened for like in that particular video so what happened was this lady slept with some man the man changed into his snake and got into her vagina while they were having intercourse there's a lot of things that happen in this world 
evil evil things that happen in this world so i honestly i i 110 percent get where you come from so it makes sense but like i said i'm really not here to dictate how any person should live or how they should go about living their lives all i'm really saying is take care of yourself and that's it the next one says Avantovazotini syndrome will serve you Avantovazotini syndrome won't serve you any good. I've always really felt that people should live their lives the way they want to and Avantovazotini I feel like I don't know man it's just a phase in your life in your life to please people is one thing that I'll never understand because everybody is really living their lives the way they want to and however they wish you are gonna consistently be the person to disqualify yourself before you're actually disqualified the, without even trying before anything could even happen you're already disqualifying yourself it does not make sense you want to start something you're really thinking go to have uzotini ubanban uzotini and to be honest that thing that you actually want to start could be what really makes you below could be the thing that could really make you heavily progress it's just more of like i don't know unresolved internal issues but i feel like at some point in time you need to find yourself as a person and do whatever it is that you feel the need to do so i would honestly i i truly and wholeheartedly get this because if you're gonna live by people today you're gonna have this thing with i want to start something but because when you are people pleaser because when are you are buying girls and you're showering that money that you could have invested you could be having like some investment property somewhere marawena you would rather buy girls bottles in a club or money make one thousand when are you'd rather flash all that money consistently and letting it be a routine because every single saturday or friday you are at sumo popping bottles of vip section and after sumo you're at moja and never give up on your dreams and i feel like obviously like when you start hitting your 20s that's when life gets tough <laughs> life can honestly get tough at any other age but i feel like it becomes strange because your 20s are like your fundamental years on how most likely how your life will become because but i'm not really saying like now if you really consistently work hard sharp then in billions of a grand by the time you turn 30 no i was truly don't believe that life is only based on hard work because you can really work as hard as you want and still not get the results that you desire it's easy to give up on your dreams in your 20s when things don't go well like you could become so consistent into wanting something fighting it going all out because like you experience a lot of failure you come across a lot of people you start developing different relationships with people you know like everything is just really great in terms of friendship you start to see who's for you who's not for you or whatever i mean honestly your life plans everything career wise it's a mixed match you know mixed match in your 20s everything just hits you all at once life becomes difficult so certain things you can have honestly certain dreams and they may, may seem impossible based off or your current situation basically so when you think about something things become like -ish can't do that anymore it's like it's like it's impossible for me to do it because you know a b c d e or oh, i can't do this anymore because a kaya bigger mina and obviously you need to make a plan for them and then you put yourself last so please never put a time period to your dreams don't think by 25 i will be married by 26 i'll have property it's not it's unnecessary pressure like it's really be rich by 23 and a house you know 23 for someone else they still in school could 23 for someone else they could have a business that's booming 23 for someone else they could be starting a business never really compare yourself to your peers that's number one number two never put a time period to your goals let everything happen the way it should we're all on different journeys and most importantly mind your business if you're one of those people who consistently feel the need to dictate how things should be for a certain person. You are 26, Maragaga Shad. You are 27, but you don't have a child. You are 28, but you don't have a qualification. Like, I don't like those people. It's really best for you to actually shut up and understand that life really works out differently for everybody. That's one, two, love your life, guys. Next one says, don't give your friends money. I don't know how I feel about that. 
because I think maybe the main problem with this is because people struggle to distinguish between friends and acquaintances. So if you obviously are going to consider people who are your friends when they come to you when days are dark but obviously consistently celebrate the accomplishments with different people other than you then surely there's a problem and that is why you are friends because friends are transparent with each other friends are honest like you talk friends communicate that that is like a solid relationship you know that you have if you actually do have friends like you would consider to but um not giving your friends money what if also they in dire need you know like easy mozabanda's funny like a person could literally be in dire need and you are the only one that could help and maybe at that point in time so what what then also guys in like don't give your friends like i don't know why is this lingering in my head don't give your friends money why i'm not really saying it in a sense that you need to be a money spender and give have friendship allowances i mean that would be cool but everyone really is going through their own thing people have rent to pay people have monthly installments to pay so it depends on you but don't give your friends money why that's what i want to know like what if they in die need guys to be honest like i feel like god really put us in this planet for us to help each other Oh, when you are down I can pick you up when I'm down you can pick me up and that's how humanity is that's how we are here that's why God borrowed us to each other to help each other also shang at our bond like knowing what in pinch up or like you day one rather die right or die guys you need you need that money you're gonna tell me you're gonna be like nah all right guys <laughs> life changes you see the thing is today you can be doing so great today you can be a ceo of a company you can be doing great but keep that in mind that's also on like yonkindo comes to an end everything in this world comes to an end you cannot guys i'm telling you like you could have it all today and have nothing tomorrow so I don't understand this thing of like consistently holding on to money because at the end of the day money isn't everything money can buy you happiness but it's not gonna buy you all those worthwhile memories to look back to i mean like yeah you can have it but with money it can buy you happiness but it really would not give you this interaction that you have with your day one because when you're knowing that you have the means to there's that um the next spend most of your time studying i 150 percent agree yo i understand i feel like your 20s hey guys i'm still studying thing your 20s you'll spend most of your time studying this is factual the school hurts that's the thing you see the studying thing it hurts it hurts like it, it, it's not it's not comfortable it's not something that you would feel comfortable doing but you just do it because of whatever reason but most importantly i just feel like school is really meant for your self-development rather than to get you money i don't know that was a lie like go to school you'll be rich hey the next tweet says um no alcohol boys or entertainment just relentless rel okay yeah just relentless self-development the 30s are no joke <sighs> yay i want to read the first part again it says no alcohol boys or entertainment then it says just relentless self-development the, the 30s are no joke to be honest i feel like this on its own is really absurd no matter how much we can really um i don't know how much we really could deem like basically the decade let me rather say the decade of being so obsessed with working hard you know the 20s are it thing whatever i don't know i think this is really a bit absurd it's crazy for me like 20s are the phase that you need to find yourself so if you're really not doing any of this how do you expect to find yourself how do you expect to really mingle and find yourself even if you say no boys i really get that but some people were meant to find their soulmates in high school which i also don't get this thing of 
don't date date until you're done with school because it does not make sense you're human you develop feelings this. a person could literally lose out on what's meant for them because people just consistently say no boys especially to women it's never about telling your sons or boys that see oh no woman till you finish school it's always about women oh no boys because you see it drives me mad it drives me crazy it, putting women in such a stage that you need to consistently be accountable for your actions but then with the other gender we just like okay cool really feel like your 20s could be the time where you actually really get to mingle until you get to the phase where you're really ready to settle down so if you're saying no boys then obviously by the time you get to 30s you're doing what you should have done in your 20s but second no alcohol i feel like that is like a personal choice if you feel the need to then that's fine and i think life would really be better if people don't consistently ask why don't you drink but you really at groove and you don't drink what is the problem why aren't you drinking do you want me to buy you a drink or you really cannot afford to drink because you do not drink hate it it's annoying don't do that to be entertainment so i feel like this out of the two i see the la the, th the first two i see the entertainment part is, is 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 makes this to be crazier than what it sounds no entertainment so what should we do life is really all about balance you really can work with yourself while you still enjoy life you can do everything everything you really could be doing this and be doing so great at the relentless self-development living life recklessly so i would get it if it were that that don't live your life recklessly all in the name of i live once i get it but this is crazy the 30s are no joke i don't think any age is a joke to be honest and i feel like the more you grow obviously life gets harder but no boys no alcohol no entertainment and then it goes on to say oh and no debt till you are 30 no debt till 30. i could agree and i could disagree with this in the sense that if you are a person who can afford to build a credit score when you're young because you feel the need would see you are ready to now buy a car you feel the need that you're ready for mortgage for a mortgage bond you want to buy a house i feel like it's really easier to start things while you're still young so that you know when you reach a certain age it's cut off like you know that you're close to finishing it off i feel like most jobs really don't even have that security so each and every single day you live you live your life in the sense that any time could be cut off why you would advise people to start they 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 start debt at 30 because at 20 you're probably living recklessly you're taking more than what you earn you taking more what you can afford at the time you actually turn 50 you're still paying off what you took in your 20s now you don't have a job you're using your pension fund your pension fund is still paying off that loan if you start something in your 30s i feel like it could also be too late I say too late in a sense that a lot of companies really kick you out by 30 if one's job is secure in this country no nothing is secure like nothing nothing is really secure greyhound closed down due to covid greyhound greyhound so my advice would be when you start let's say you are in your 20s i don't know 20 what if you want to buy a car you need to finance that car by your loan i would say get that pay that off i would also advise you to actually start budgeting and no have a monthly amount for groceries have a monthly amount for entertainment it shouldn't be a lot because you're not going to have disposable income knowing that if you pay other installments i don't know what you guys' installments are you still have disposable income that's what i'm saying like if you buy a car firstly buy a car that's in your means buy a car that matches your lifestyle and a car that you can afford to so literally pay it off by the time you're 30 let's say you're 25 you just bought a car by 30 i think you would be done paying that car depending on how much you pay pay that car off pay that car off before you get into mortgage the worst thing honestly i feel like a lot of people could feel i can pay mortgage and finance the car loan plus kids need to go to school if you do have kids um groceries you need to pay rent you need you see that's what i'm saying like start off with one thing if you have to pay rent school fees and all these things and you still have a car to buy 
pay off that car before you start regardless of anything that you do whether you have a one bedroom home it's comfortable for you if you are living alone and stuff like that so i feel like most importantly anything that has to do with finance living your means that's it like mortgage bond is longer than a car loan so hence i'm saying pay that thing off before you start with mortgage because mortgage can you the interest that is being added there is crazy and banks don't want you to pay off your mortgage like once you pay off your mortgage they will add other things that you've never heard of in your life that you still need to pay in order for you to get that title deed it's a lot in the last tweet that i am going to read it says that if you are a woman don't waste your precious time stressing over men and i think this is really the best way to close off the video because for me it really would be pointless living your life consistently chasing men men who are in the bag men who are really focused on securing the bag and i mean obviously they could have the playtime battling out and stuff like that but i mean like the main thing is really the bag like being focused and you actually look your 30 and all you've ever done when you look back in the period of 10 years is that you have chased men 10 years chasing men 10 years you have nothing to show for yourself but chase a man it's the worst, the worst thing that could ever happen to you. I honestly feel like don't even look for love. <laughs> I feel like don't look for a man. That's number one. Don't look for a man. Focus on yourself. Focus on your self-development. It's okay to, if you find it great for you, if it is meant for you, it will find you. Regardless of what it doesn't really have to be love. I feel like everything that is meant for you will find you and it will find a way to you what is meant for you even god will remove all the barriers that come in your way because it is for you so learn talk to Bangani of like telling each other oh no chomi you can trap him with the child is the worst thing that you could ever do to yourself don't do that don't don't and thinking giving a man a child would he'll love you more he won't cheat on you he will make you feel like i don't know heaven on earth don't don't do that this is like the best way to end this video and i hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and most importantly please make use of the comment section and share solid advice with people in their 20s so that's about it for me hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace and love. Bye.